battling it out with their clippers in their shears. Barbers travel far and wide to compete for the title of Best in the West here in Midland, Texas. With more than 40 local children waiting to be matched with the right big brother or big sister, volunteers come together in hopes of igniting the potential and promise of children in the Permian Basin. It is a full effect 4th of July celebration right now here in downtown Midland. People tell me that this night is one that they've been looking forward to for quite some time. For years, Hope Santiago has competed in track and field, collecting several medals, and she says she's just getting started. Yeah, as you can see here behind me, some of that flood water has not drained just yet, and Muskingum Avenue in Odessa saw the worst of it. The Odessa Police Department responded to reports of gunfire on 42nd Street and Andrews Highway in Odessa. Now, all we know is that multiple vehicles and people were involved, but there has not been any injuries reported at this time. Billy Pond, the brains behind the chainsaw carnage, didn't think he'd see this moment after battling with health issues more than a year ago. The suspect involved, Nathan Gordon, has been charged with five counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, class A misdemeanor, and evading arrest. Witnesses at the scene tell me that their family member was hit by a train. Now, that train is stalled further back, but this is still a very active scene. The owner says that the driver ran through the Skateland sign and went through this side of the building. 